you're hired on out school and you're ready to create your profile video or you just want to make a few updates well today i want to share with you my top tips Hello everyone, my name is Alejandra Landano and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, you find lots of different videos specifically about teaching and working online from home. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top tips on how to create a good OutSchool profile video. Afterwards, I will plan my own OutSchool video and we can start to do it together. So today I have six tips for you when you've decided to create or edit your OutSchool profile video. Now, keep in mind the video I am referring to is the video that parents and students can see on your profile page. This video should show a little bit about you, your classroom setting, your teaching personality, classes you'd like to teach, maybe even some hobbies you enjoy here and there. But here are my top tips. These tips, of course, are in no order whatsoever. So tip number one is to decide what kind of video you want to record. Do you plan on editing your video or do you plan on just taking your video one time and uploading it to the OutSchool website? Of course, either option is fine, but you want to decide if you plan on editing your video or if you do not plan on editing your video. If you do not want to edit your video, you will need to do some practice before you record so you don't have any awkward silence and moments in there, but we will talk about that a little bit later. Tip number two is that when you're recording, you want to record something that is stable. Therefore, you do not want to be recording on your phone with your hand. I recommend you either use the computer so you can record a video on the OutSchool website. You can use the webcam you might have on your computer. You can also use your phone and place it somewhere in your room, in your classroom, in your house, but you wanna have it standing somewhere very stable so your video is not shaky. Tip number three is to have good lighting. Now I have had other individuals send me either intro videos or sample lessons and they ask for my feedback and one of the most common things I see from people is just not good lighting. Now, you do not need tons of equipment to have a good lit video. I am a perfect prime example because my videos still on YouTube are not the best lit, but I take advantage of what I have. So for me personally, like I've mentioned in other videos, I have a bright light above my head. I usually have a ring light when I'm teaching. Right now, I don't have that ring light on. And then when I'm recording videos, I always record very close by to a window. That natural light is really what makes your video the best when you're using a cheaper device or phone. So you really need to look around your house or look around your classroom and figure out where is the best spot for you to record a nice introduction video. Tip number four is to have a small classroom setup. Now your setup does not have to be extravagant and beautiful and you do not have to spend tons of money when you're first starting or even when you're just creating that profile video. But I always recommend having a few items behind you so your class looks warm and inviting. And I'll share my classroom with you really quick. What I have here is a cute border. I just like this border over my dirty wall that definitely is overdue on a paint job. But I like to have a border. I have my whiteboard here. I have this super cute map. I actually have a link down below for 5% off. This shop has amazing maps that are big and small that are great background decor. I like having my name somewhere. And then I also have a cute sign over there, but I've added things to my room. When you're trying to come up with ideas of how to set up your room, your best friend might be Pinterest. I know Pinterest as an online teacher, as well as a previous classroom teacher is really my best friend. I love looking for inspiration on Pinterest. So you can simply type on Pinterest, classroom ideas, home classroom to get your mind thinking about what kind of backdrop or what kind of setup you want for your classroom. But in that intro video, it would be nice if you tried to share that classroom with your audience. 
Tip number five is to showcase yourself. Now this might be a little obvious, but in this profile video, you want to introduce yourself. You want to be well-dressed, looking nice and clean. You want to introduce yourself, share your hobbies, maybe share different things about you and your family. You could share future classes you plan on teaching, but you want to let yourself shine. And I'm going to share a little bit more specifically what I plan on doing for my video later on. But what I like to do is write down my hobbies, my likes, and different strengths I may have so I can include those in my profile video. My last tip for you, tip number six, is to write a small script before you actually record your video. So this is where it depends on what video you plan on doing. If you are going to edit your video, this will be a little bit easier. If you are not going to edit your video, then you want to write down your script and either have it in front of you or read over it and practice before you hit that record button. I know for me personally, what I like to do is I write out a very brief script and then I look down read what I plan on saying, and then look back up. And that's actually exactly what I do for YouTube. Um, since I'm still kind of new on the YouTube platform and it's the same kind of idea I do for my introduction videos. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to do that together. So I'm gonna help you, or actually I should say, you're gonna help me create an introduction video for OutSchool. If you've seen some of my other videos, I do already have an OutSchool profile video, but I would like to update that video and just make a few changes. So I'm hoping you'll stick around and help me with that. Okay, so as you can see here, I've kind of broken down the categories um, that OutSchool has provided. OutSchool actually has a teacher profile video guideline and I definitely recommend you look over that as well before you make your teacher profile video but basically these are the categories that OutSchool recommended so I just am going to go through each category and discuss a little bit about each so the first one is your name obviously I'm going to introduce myself say my formal name my teacher name whatever I want then after that I'm going to include my experience so I'm going to say what experience I have and why other students and parents should trust me teaching their child. After that, I'll share some topics and classes I plan on teaching. Then I'll talk a little bit about my teaching style and then of course fun facts about me. So that's the basics of my intro video. Like you can see, all I did real quick was write everything down so I have a quick guideline. Now, if you want, you could even write out full sentences if that might be a little bit easier for you. And then it's time to hit record. Hello everyone, my name is Miss Alejandra and I'm so excited you're here visiting my OutSchool profile today. I graduated from the University of Central Florida with my... So was that perfect? Probably not, but this outline definitely came in handy. Like I mentioned already, I will look down, I can practice in my head what I want to say and then hit record. Um, or I look over it, I practice one time going through it, and then I hit record. So like I've mentioned already, it really depends on if you want to take the time to edit your video or not. But in the next video, I'm actually going to share with you how I edit my OutSchool profile video. Now that wraps up today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.